Every time Lenny Moore was given the ball, it was the beginning of a unique adventure, a classic in cleats. I fell in love with the spats. <laughs> Lenny was the first player that I saw. His ankle was taped outside the shoes. He was the start of that. Me and some of the guys who would see him would be just, ooh, ooh. They made him look beautiful. Boy, after a while, everybody had their ankles taped outside because they thought it looked good. Style took a backseat to substance for the Baltimore Colts, Lenny Moore. Lenny Moore gets the ball, and Lightning Len lights out like a frightened fox in a forest fire. The Reading Rocket roars non-stop to a 41-yard touchdown, and Baltimore is on top, 7 to nothing. I'm a speed guy, so I respect speed, and uh, Lenny always had that burst away from people. Whether he was kissing the ball or running it out of the back for him. Lenny Moore's versatility allowed him to line up at halfback or flanker, blazing a trail for the likes of Bobby Mitchell, Roger Craig, and Marshall Falk. Career, he scored 26 touchdowns of over 50 yards, the most by any running back in NFL history. his career was threatened by a knee injury. You get an injury, it's all over. And they would begin to say things about Lenny, about this might be it, and that type of thing. I dedicated myself in 1964. I said, well, if they think I'm through, I'm going to show them. And I'm going to have the best year I've ever had because it's going to start from day one. My attitude changed and my dedication was toward proving that I was still there, that I could still do the job. Moore scored 20 touchdowns in 1964, completing a streak of 18 straight games with a touchdown. I was so happy to see him say, hey, it's not over. And Lenny, Lenny did that. He just went on and completed a great career. What is going on, you guys? It is that time again for another Player Era Project. Um, this time it's going to be Lenny Moore Spats. Um, was his nickname. He played from 1956 to 1967, all 12 years with the Baltimore Colts. Seven-time Pro Bowl, five-time All-Pro, Hall of Fame, 1975, and he is a member of the NFL 100 All-Time Team. Um, so in the 100 years of the NFL, he's one of the top 100 players to have ever played in the NFL. Um, just an amazing TTMer. If you haven't um, sent to him, I highly suggest that you send to him. He doesn't require a donation. But Mr. Moore's pretty elderly. Throw him a five, throw him a ten, throw him one or two cards. Um, he's pretty much spot on, man, with uh, getting your cards back to you. So that is that. Let's turn it around and show off some cards. So we're going to be starting this player era off with a slabbed card. This is probably the first player era that we've started off like that. 
and there's actually a, a couple cards that are missing and it'll be the 1957 um, we'll get to that here in a minute, but this is a 1956 rookie card. Um, absolutely beautiful card. So the 1957 is actually in the mail right now. There's two cards in this set that we're missing, and it's the 1957 and the 1965 Philadelphia. Um, Mr. Moore has been a great, great TTMer for a long time, and I've gotten these returns through the years. You'll notice um, kind of different signature styles, um, different inscriptions, so on and so forth. But um, like I said in the intro, if you haven't got him, I highly suggest you get him. Um, just an amazing football player. And from what I've heard, just a really, really great person in, in general. So um, I can't imagine it being too long until these come in. So... It'd be really nice to finish up one of not only the greatest football players to have ever played, but definitely one of the greatest NFL Hall of Fame TTMers. Um, he's been a great ambassador to the TTM community for a very, very long time. So let's see when these two come in. So this just came in the mail. Um, this should be the last two cards I need for the Lenny Moore project. Um, hopefully, he's a really great TTMer and has been for many years. Um, he put that on there for me in case that interests you. And something I've been doing on all of my player era individual send outs, if you will, I've been marking them with blue just so I know when I get them to open them on camera. And um, so this should. Be a success. Let's get into it. Um, I needed the 1957 and 1965 cards um, to complete the set, this player era set. Looks like he used my paper to check the marker I sent him. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, 1965. Philadelphia looks absolutely beautiful and then this oh yeah <laughs> yeah the 1957 tops my favorite set design of all time look at that card man and believe it or not yet this card is not in the greatest of shape and has a lot of surface wear this card was still $33 for me to buy and that was on auction so um, they're not exactly giving these cards away that are in decent shape. So that is that. Let's see if uh, maybe I can put these two in the set and show off the entire set together now. Now that I have the 57 and the 1965 Philadelphia to complete the Lenny Moore run. That is awesome. Thanks for watching.